Hey everybody, I'm Julie, and this is Rolando. He's our food safety specialist here at Festival Foods. We're coming to you from our patio, and we're talking all about grilling. And today, we're talking kebabs. So we have a couple of different kind of kebabs here. Um, we have a, a chili rubbed pork and pineapple, which I'm gonna show you how to make. And then we also have a chicken sausage, which is actually has some pepper jack cheese in there, which I love cheese, don't you? Oh yes. <laughs> and then we have some um, peppers. So we're gonna, we already have some of those assembled. Um, so, right. you know, I want to talk food safety since I have your expertise here. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the things we need to be careful on as far as food safety when we're putting kebabs together? Absolutely. Um, I think one of the most important uh, aspects right now uh, or at any time that you're cooking is washing your hands before you start any prepping just to avoid contaminating your food um, from your hands. So, and in addition to that is using separate cutting boards for your ready to eat and vegetables from your raw meats. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't use a uh, uh, two separate cutting boards, then you can use one as long as that, as long as you cut everything in the correct order so okay. that you don't c cross contaminate them. That's a really good tip because I think at home I would just use the same cutting board and maybe right. not think about you know the order of it. So can you yes. can you tell us the order of what we would want to do here with these, these sure. specific products? Sure. And in this case, we have some ready to eat uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. some ready to eat um, chicken sausage, yeah. and then uh, some ready to eat fruit, and okay. then you have your raw meats here. Mm -hmm. So these three you can cut first. So I would probably do the uh, fruits and vegetables first, okay. and then followed by the ready to eat chicken, which is, uh, it was pre-cooked, I assume? Yes. Uh, okay. Yep, it was. And then following with your raw meats, that way you don't get any of the uh, any of the uh, bacteria that could potentially be growing on the raw meats onto mm -hmm. your ready to eat foods. Okay, that's a, that's a perfect tip. So what we have is we already have some, the chicken sausage and peppers, and these are actually little, they're, they're sweet um, little mini peppers, and they come in a bag at Festival Foods in the produce, so they're really fun. They're perfect for kebabs. And then okay. we have the chicken, The like you said, it's pre-cooked. So, um, and then all I'm gonna do is just finish this one off here um, by adding just a couple more of the, the peppers and the, the sausage here, and I'm using gloves. You know, I know we don't all have gloves at home, right? All right. <laughs> um, so then it'd just be important to make sure I wash my hands, correct? Yes, After yes. I'm done handling these things. And then same here, we'll put the pineapple on there, and then the pork. Those look really nice. And this is all gonna get cooked, you know, so we don't have to worry too much about it, but yep. you know, now that I've touched the pineapple, we'd wanna make sure we cooked all that, correct? Mm -hmm. So we have all those done. So don't those look good? Oh, yes, they do. And then I'm going to take my gloves off so that I don't contaminate anything, right? Correct. All right. So we already have some that have been cooking here. So um, we have the two completed that we were just talking about. And actually, um, we rubbed some honey mustard, or I'm sorry, honey with Dijon mustard. So I guess it would be honey <laughs> mustard on the chicken sausage one. And then the other one, um, we just grilled because it has chili powder on the pork. Okay. And then um, the pineapple, it's just gonna be so delicious. So I can go ahead and take those off. Oh, they smell so good. And how would we know if these were fully cooked? So you wanna check the temperature on them. Um, for any pre-cooked items, the correct temperature for them should be 165 internal for 15 seconds. Okay. Um, any of the raw meats, uh, if it's pork or beef, it should be 145 mm -hmm. for 15 seconds. And then your raw chicken should be 165 as well. Okay. Um, and the way that you do that is by using a thermometer, something mm -hmm. similar to this, um, and uh, you insert it into the uh, meatiest part of the kebab, which okay. in this case would be maybe two or three different, uh, or you wanna probably catch two or three different items to get an accurate mm -hmm. reading. Okay. Um, but uh, before that, you also have to make sure that your, your uh, probe is clean. Sure. You don't wanna <laughs> introduce any more uh, bad bacteria into your food. Right. Um, and that's pretty much how, how you can make sure that everything is correct and it's mm -hmm. safe and you don't get anybody sick at your party. That's that's perfect. So I don't have like sanitizer or like alcohol swabs or anything really at home, but right. I could just follow the directions on the thermometer and, yes. and some of them can be submerged in like soapy water and that way I could cook them. Yep, and, and that would work, the that would work just fine. Okay, perfect. And we sell thermometers at festival, right? We have we different do. kinds. We do, we have a little, uh, uh, what we call the baby dial, mm -hmm. which is a lot easier to calibrate um, and I think they sell for like just under five dollars. Okay, um, perfect. But uh, a few different options, and 
yeah, those work. Mm -hmm. So everyone should have a thermometer at home just for food safety. Absolutely. And before I forget, we do have a couple more kebabs on the grill here, and these are actually from our meat department. So they're pre-made, they're super easy, you can buy however many you want. Um, they're a little bit bigger, so they take longer to cook than these ones. These are small chunks. Um, but something fun you can do with those is just add some pesto sauce on there. Okay. You can use a little brush to, you know, brush that sauce on there. And same with the honey mustard. Um, we just brushed that on, but you definitely wouldn't want to use that brush again on on, from raw meat to the cooked, right. right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're learning so much about food safety. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's taste these because oh, yeah. I mean, this one's all, all set to go. And then this one, the only thing I like to do differently with it is I like to add just a tad of lime juice. So oh. just kind of um, drizzle that over it. And then a little bit of cilantro because like I said, it has, um, has that chili powder on there. So those are perfect flavors to go together. Okay. Now there's a fork for you. Thank you. And then these are not super hot anymore, so we won't burn ourselves. But if you just wanna wanna take a little bite here, we can sure. tell everybody how good good it is because they're jealous, right? They're not here <laughs> eating kebabs with us. But hopefully uh, you'll all make this at home. So how's mm. it taste? That is delicious. All right. Well, I'm gonna trust you that it's good. <laughs> I will eat this later, but um, thanks for visiting us today. We learned so much about food safety. Now, if you want any of our grilling recipes, go to blog.festfoods.com. Let's eat. Let's do it. Bye everybody.